Now to do the contour lines we have to calculate the triangular model one more time and then draw the contour lines in AutoCAD. So I'll just start by opening a new drawing. And then enter the triangular model calculation once again. And now we still we have an existing model that 301 I will recalculate, but this time I will not save the triangles in my model. I just want to calculate contour lines and draw them in AutoCAD. So for the values for the contour lines, I will calculate them, I will smooth them, I will preview them, and my equidistance will be 0 0.5 meters. Main contour lines being a contour line uh, with another color for each 10, meaning I'll have a fat line for each uh, 5 meters in height difference. Or maybe it should be 2. Yes, I think we should choose for each 2 meters. And this is the setup for the calculation. Then I need to draw the contour lines, and I would like to draw them as polylines. And I will choose or accept the layers that it has specified for my contour lines and then apply so it calculates the triangles and afterwards the contour lines I continue to get my contour lines drawn in AutoCAD. Zoom extends. And now I have a perfectly good image of uh, the contours in this area. If I look at the lines, <coughs> list them, I will see that they are applied with a set value. So this is actually a 3D image in 3D polylines of the area. And you can decide yourself the equidistance between the contour lines, so you can actually use this to create uh, surface contour lines in roundabouts, intersections, and roads. So a, a nice tool. I'll just save this as X calculated contour lines. Yes, the next many videos will then be about the actual design, horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, and cross-section design.